Let's go through the field. We got stories everywhere. We got stories in the race as well. We'll start with the one in Mugatu. Yes, in case you're wondering, named after Will Ferrell's character in Zoolanders on a seven race losing streak. Uncle Heavy, last race in the Wood Memorial in New York, finishing fifth, getting more wagering attention than we expected. Steve noted that. Catching Freedom, bought for over half a million dollars, looked the part in the Derby, finishing fourth. Muth was scratched earlier this week, so the favorite, Mystic Dan, now looking to be the first horse since Justify in 2018 to win the first two legs of the Triple Crown. As we move along, we got Seize the Gray, also ran last on May 4th, not in the Derby, though. He was the winner of the Pat Day Mile, his first career graded stakes win. He's trained by D. Wayne Lucas, who also trains Just Steel, who finished 17th in the Derby. A win for Lucas would be a seventh in the Preakness for the Hall of Fame trainer. Tuscan Gold is the eight trained by Chad Brown, who's won the Preakness twice before, both with horses who missed the Derby, just like Tuscan Gold. And on the outside, you got Bob Baffert, Imagination. Baffert has won this race a record eight times, including last year with National Treasure. So once again, a look at the odds. These will change throughout the day. A little bit while before our show, Mystic Dan was a co-favorite. Now he is the favorite over Catching Freedom and Tuscan Gold, who are both at 7-2 to and co-second choices in this field. A lot of storylines, Jerry. Let's get through them. Let's, we we got to start, of course, with, with the Derby winner, what Mystic Dan was able to do two weeks ago in Louisville. And the question is, can he do it again here in Baltimore? Yeah, that's, that's kind of always the question. Look, at Mystic Dan was nothing short of perfect uh, when he won the Kentucky Derby, as was his ride by the jockey Brian Hernandez Jr. He saved every inch of ground, came through a narrow opening. Looks like he's going to win by a couple links uh, with an eighth of a mile to go here, but bearing down on him is the Japanese horse Forever Young in Sierra Leone. Boom, just barely gets there. He needed every bit of that perfect trip and perfect effort to get it done. And was he as good in that race as Sierra Leone and Forever Young looking at all the trips? Probably not. But those two aren't in the Preakness. And now Muth is not in the Preakness. So that's why Mystic Dan is the favorite. By the way, I don't know who's been more popular this week, Mystic Dan or Sonny, the white Labrador that oh. Nick Peake owns that has his own press credential. I think we're going to see Sonny a little bit later on. Nick Luck is on that story as well. Nick's going to be everywhere throughout this broadcast window. Uh, so you also have Bob Baffert. He has entered yep. the chat here. He brings in imagination into the race. He called Muth his secret weapon, and now that mm. Muth is out, his new secret weapon is Frankie Dettori. So Baffert, as you pointed out, he's won this race eight times. He's going for his 18th Triple Crown win in all. Dettori, of course, the famed jockey who is now relocated to the United States, is looking for his very first win in an American Triple Crown race. But Baffert says he can sleep well at night knowing that he's got Dettori on his side. The last trainer to win back-to-back -back Preaknesses was Bob Baffert, 2001, 2002. I thought you jumped the gun on me there. With, eight, of, with eight wins, who? That's, that's the only right. guy you it's could guess. Bound to happen at some point. Uh, so they're not the only two top choices. You see the the odds. There's there's a lot of competition here on who could be the favorite. And Randy and I went through this uh, earlier in the week. We can't separate the, the top four of them. Look at Tuscan Gold has got a, every bit of good his chance, and his trainer Chad Brown has made a. Uh, living off of skipping the Derby, coming in here and winning the Preakness with, with a fresh horse. He had a great race in the Louisiana Derby. He finished third and was wide on both turns. He figures to be one of the horses to win, but the odds reflect it. He's just very, yeah. very close in the way. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with catching Freedom, who was fourth in the Kentucky Derby, right behind that historic three-horse photo finish. He was only beaten a couple of lengths. He's going to need more pace than it looks like he might get. He had a good pace ahead of him in the Kentucky Derby, and he had a rail trip. So there are some question marks for catching freedom, but he's good. The way that the weather continues throughout the rest of the day, it's wet right now, it's raining, it's supposed to clear up at some point. What storylines could emerge there? So Mystic Dan's already, one of his best races is right. on a muddy track when he won the Southwest at Oakland Park. Um, imagine, imagine has never run on it, but he's, his pedigree suggests he should like it. Tuscan Gold, again, never run on it, but his pedigree suggests his, his dad was a, a mud-running son of a gun. So mm. yeah, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Catching Freedom also, has also run well in it. It's been a good two weeks for Mystic Dan since the Kentucky Derby, right? No Sierra Leone, no Forever Young, no Muth, yeah. and now he gets rain on top of it all. And maybe a value for some betters out there, as Matt and Steve talked about. Three to one, currently the favorite of the Preakness, the Kentucky Derby winner. We